you only ask the AI to solve today's wordle and it just does all the steps connected to the browser automatically. This is truly insane. The evolution of AI goes way faster than anything that I've ever experienced. One month ago, ChatGPT4 was released and it was already such a surprise to see what it can do and what capabilities it has already. And for the past two weeks, AGI is the keyword in the whole AI community. And it is truly insane and it will change the future. It will change how we do things and it will probably change how you use AI in the future completely. Really, I am not exaggerating. This is huge. And I'm going to show you exactly what is going to happen over the couple of months and what you can expect from this AGI and this agents and all the things that are just the biggest hype right now. And the first thing we want to know is what is the difference between AI and AGI? So I'm here in ChatGPT and let's ask what AGI actually is. So AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. And what this means is that it's an AI that has the ability to understand or learn any intellectual tasks a human being can. So here ChatGPT also says the development of AGI is considered to be a major milestone in the field of AI. While current AI systems excel at specific tasks, they have the lack of the ability to generalize their learning to new situations. So AGI, on the other hand, would be capable of self-improvement and self-learning. But for now, the first versions are here. It can make very easy tasks way better. So let me show you what we can expect. So AutoGPT and Baby AGI are the ones that have been released and everything is kind of built on that. But these are quite hard to install that you have to use manually. And there's already a couple apps that you can just use in your browser. And I'm going to showcase what you can expect. So one of the craziest showcases that I've seen is from the personal assistant from Hyperwrite. And that becomes just like a plugin. And here you can see, I asked our web surfing AI to solve Wordle. Here in the bottom right, you see that it asks, what can I help you with? And I just type solve today's Wordle. So that's all, that's the whole task. Here on the right, you see what the AI personal assistant does. So the question was, what can I help you with? Solve today's Wordle. And the first step that it does automatically, it just knows to search for the answer for today's Wordle on Google. So let's see, let's continue. It found that the answer is thief and now it's going to the Wordle website. It knows that it has to go to Google to type Wordle and it's on the side now. And here just as the next steps, it's clicking the T button on the screen keyboard to enter the answer thief and just continues to fill in the final word, which is crazy to think. You only ask the AI to solve today's Wordle and it just does all the steps connected to the browser automatically. This is truly insane. And this plugin might be the best currently because the showcases it shows is insane. So let's take a look at the next one. So the test this time was go to LinkedIn, find two candidates that have backend experience, Python experience and worked at Apple and give me their names and short bios. So that's crazy. So it's asking for many things, it's asking for the experience. It has to work somewhere and then it has to summarize whatever it found and has to go to LinkedIn. So let's see what it does. First, it goes to LinkedIn. What's the next step? It's going to the search query and find candidates with backend experience and Apple. So here you see that it searched for that and it finds a couple. Click on the profile of the two candidates to gather more information and write short bios about them. So here it wrote the bio for Michael H. Here in the bottom, you see I found two candidates on LinkedIn with backend experience who have worked at Apple. One, Michael H. is a software engineer at Apple with a background in computer science from Columbia University. This is just going to change everything. You can ask just a specific question and it will search the internet for you and find exactly what you want. But there's more what it can do. Here, just ask, write up a paragraph explaining what Hyperwrite just launched, which is this tool. So it searches for Hyperwrite launch, find the news page that has exactly the information, and then it has to make a summary of that. So it's reading the content of the article to find information about Hyperwrite's recent launch to write the paragraph explaining what they launched. And here you have your paragraph that they just found out online. They also have a video where they just type order plain pizza from Domino's. It's like you have a private assistant just ready to help you and do all your tasks. These are just examples of what is happening right now and what for crazy stuff you can expect to happen in the next couple months. I mean, the sky is the limit, right? We can do everything automated with AI, even using everything on the web. But what can you do yourself right now? This is the first tool that I wanted to show. It's called Cognosis and it's called AI powered agents at your fingertips. So they call agents kind of the assistant that you create. 
So here on the left, it's super easy. You can give it a name. It has no effect on the agent's performance. I will just call my agent Helpful AI. They say in the top left, due to high usage, we suggest using your own API key. So I can use your own open AI key. With that, it works faster, but you pay yourself. So if you want to do that, it's quite easy. I'll put the link in the description, but what you have to do is go to the link that is in the description, the billing overview. And here in the top, you will have create paid account. And this is from OpenAI, so from the maker of ChatGPT. So you just pay per user. So it's really not bad. You pay 0.002 cents per 1K tokens. And I think one word is like 75 tokens. So it's really fine. And if you use it a little bit, then this is a nice way. So you don't really have to get a subscription. So that's nice. And here in the bottom left, you see API keys. You can press that. And you can press here, create new secret key. And if you press that, you can give it a name. So test, create secret key. So you copy that key and go back to the tool and you can just press it here. And then it's linked to your OpenAI account. So it all works way faster. But let's try out our own agent. So helpful AI and set an objective for your agent to complete. So it's not gonna go yet to internet pages and go to LinkedIn or Domino's and do things for you, but you can ask other things. So I'm gonna ask, find the smartphone with best camera below $500 from 2022 or 2023. I'm gonna automate the task. I'm gonna start. It's adding the tasks, right? So here on the right, you see it has the first test, research and compile a list of smartphones released in 2022 and 2023, collect pricing information, and analyze the remaining smartphones on the list and identify the phone with the highest camera quality based on expert reviews and user ratings. It automatically splits up tasks to get the final answer, which is crazy. So here, the first one is complete. It based on the objective given, I've compiled a list of smartphones released in 2022, 2023 that have a camera with a resolution of at least 12 megapixels and are priced below $500. So here it found eight phones that are good for that category. And here they are collecting the pricing information. And here they analyze the expert reviews and user ratings. To identify the smartphone with the highest camera quality, I will analyze expert reviews and user ratings for each of these smartphones. After analyzing the reviews and ratings, I've determined that the Google Pixel 6a has the best camera quality of all the smartphones on the list. So now I know that that's the one that I need to take. And it is kind of crazy that we are here, you know, that you can give a task and it will search online, know what to search for. And you can imagine that in the future, this is all going to be true voice, that we can just talk to our AGI in our headphone, whatever, ask it something, you know, ask to order pizza and actually pay it themselves and let it order in the time that you arrive home. This is just next level. So then you have two more that I wanted to show. You have Agent GPT and here you can have a name. So helpful GPT. So now I will ask how to double $100 with good investments. Deploy agent. Here it shows that it's embarking on a new goal. So this is the goal. And let me just stop for a second. And here you see that it's added three tasks. So it's researching investment options with high returns, analyze market trends and predict future growth and diversify portfolio to minimize risk and maximize profits. And it's already telling me the most effective investment options to double $100 would be investing in stock market. It's giving some options as you also see that it keeps adding tasks to continue and to go further and to get you the best answer. The AI thought it would be a good investment to invest in Amazon, Apple or Microsoft, renewable energy, real estate investment trusts, exchange trading funds. So they give a lot of information. But the only issue is right now it's not linked yet, but you can imagine that in the future, it just goes automatically. So let's say you want to invest $100, but you have no ID. So you just tell your AI to invest this $100 and it just does it on its own. It logs in on the website, fills in all your information and does it all based on data. And you don't have to do a thing, only type invest $100. This is crazy. This is really next level. All the links are in the description and I'm not paid by anything. I just think it's crazy. And here they already have some examples. So in, in which market should I first launch my vegan protein bars? Write me a resignation letter. So I'm gonna ask it to write a summary about YouTube channel Maximize and I'm very curious what it does. So it's gonna research the content and audience of the YouTube channel Maximize. I'm gonna add that tasks. And it's also gonna give a summary or key insights how I can improve my performance. So I'm very curious what it comes up with. So here we see the thoughts of the AGI. 
let's research the content of the audience of the YouTube channel Maximize with Google Search. And then the reasoning why it will do this, it will give us insights on how to improve its performance. So I'm going to approve the plan. And here on the left, you see the task that it's doing. And honestly, this is next level. Go try it out. Go try it out. And I really feel like this is the future. This is really the next step. So let's see the steps it was taking. It was exploring my YouTube channel and it couldn't find anything. Now they're going to gather information in a different way. So I approved this plan. So here you see, this is the channel and what type of videos does the Maximize YouTube channel publish? This is actually pretty nice because you can really see the thought process and then explaining like, ah, oh, this doesn't work. That's why I'm going to do this. Or I want to know this. That's why I'm going to take this step. So that's really fun. And they cannot really find an answer. So this is not going to work right now, but you see the potential. I really think this is the future. And in a bit, we're all going to have personal AI assistants that do everything that we want. And I'm honestly very curious in your opinion, what would you use an AGI for? And what do you think of this progression? Is it scary? Is this really the future? Let me know in the comments and otherwise see you next time.